Hello friends, welcome to Science With Me. My name is Dr. Erica. I am so excited that you are joining us today. Please make sure if you've been having fun with science with us that you subscribe to our YouTube channel or support us at patreon.com slash rosyresearch. We are in our Among Us unit and we've made two paper circuits so far. We made an amazing wiring task. That was our hardest paper circuit we had. It used four batteries. And we also did one of our easier ones of making a fun little LED Among Us character. And if you miss any of those, you can check it out. You can get the downloads at our Patreon site. And today we are going to make one of another task, which is the card swipe. So this, as we swipe our card, it'll go from like red to when we get over here, it'll turn green and you can sort of swipe your card and it's sort of a fun little way to make a physical Among Us task. What you'll need for the project is you will need the printout, so you can get this over at our Patreon website. Um, support is super easy, it's like a dollar a week or more if you want to support us more. Um, but it gets you all the downloads, which is great. And then you need some scotch tape and some conductive tape, so copper tape. If you don't have copper tape, there's aluminum tape or aluminum foil can work for you. You're gonna want a red and a green LED. You need just one battery for this project and some scissors. And then the last thing that really makes it easier is a binder clip. All right, so to get started on the template, it tells us that we just need to cut along this top line, along the solid line, so we're gonna cut right down along this solid line, just like this. And then there's actually another line at the very bottom and it says cut off this strip. So you're gonna cut along that solid line as well. And then whenever I do paper circuits, I really like to pre-fold stuff. So on all the folds, you sort of wanna just get it ready so that when we put the tape down and fold it, Nothing funny happens. That's what I've learned over my various years of making these paper circuits. All right, just like that. And that will give me a nice solid structure to start with. And when I fold it, it'll fold like this and then that part will fold up and we'll swipe our card right there. I'm noticing my fold is not as straight as I'd like but that's all right, it doesn't need to be perfect. All right, so now we are going to lay down copper tape along these bright yellow lines. There's two lines. We wanna make sure we go into that green circle and we wanna make sure that when we get to these corners, we bend the copper tape instead of breaking the copper tape. That's really important. The copper tape is our highway for our electrons. And if we break the copper tape and then stack a new piece on top, to our eye, it looks like it's all connected, but to those little electrons, they just see a highway that's like a thousand feet up in the air and they're like, I'm driving my car down here, how do I get up there? And it makes it really hard for them. And that's because there's glue on the backside and the glue is not conductive. All right. Let's bring this down here, just like that. And one way, sometimes I like to fold it back and then forward. Another trick you can do to get around these corners is to sort of put your finger underneath the tape and then wrap the tape over your finger and stick it down. And even though I have this really big sort of piece, I can just press that down and it's still all one piece. So it'll still work for me. All right, so there's one of those and we can just Press that down with our nail and we'll do the other one. All right. So then I can also give myself a little extra, just like this. Now we don't want these two to touch because we want our two to be separate all the time so that we don't have green turning on when Red is on and vice versa. All right, so there is that part of it for us. Now we are going to cover copper tape on these orange lines. Now there's three of them 
they all need to be separate. And this is where our fancy switch comes in play. So our switch has a piece that comes from the top of the battery, which is the piece that I'm doing right now. And that piece, when it's connected to one of the LEDs, will light up that LED. But we don't directly connect it to any of these LEDs. So you'll notice there's a really skinny gap here. So the way we connect it is that piece on our card, we've got this metallic piece of copper tape on our card, and that will actually connect the two together. So as I swipe, some of the time I'm connecting red, and some of the time I'm connecting green. All right. So we'll put this down just like this. And so this one goes all the way down to the end, just like that. You can press down on that, make it nice and smooth. And then we are gonna do these two pieces. And again, we wanna make sure that none of these three pieces we're putting down right now touch each other. If the red and the green pieces touch each other, then they'll both be on at the same time. And if the pieces as they come down at the bottom touch, if these bottom pieces touch, then they'll be on all the time. We don't want that. All right, but again, make sure that you are folding your copper tape as you go. All right. There we go for that one. Just like that, beautiful. I am gonna make sure here, I'm just gonna press this over with my finger a little bit and make sure that it's not gonna to touch that piece right there. And I have one more piece of copper tape to lay on down. Just like this. right here. Once you get the hang of these paper circuits, you can make so many really fun projects with them. It's one of my favorite things to do is just sort of invent these paper circuits. All right. So now I'm gonna cut it right there is a little too much, so I'm gonna use my scissors to cut it. Let's see. Nope. Gonna... Still a little too much. There we go, that'll work. Perfect. All right. So, now we are ready to put our LEDs in. You wanna poke your LEDs in through the back. Let's see, I want a red and a green LED. So one way you could do that is you can just make a little hole with your scissors for each one. That'll help your legs poke through a little bit. Just like that. So then the green one is gonna poke through through the back. These LEDs are one-way streets, so there is a short leg and a long leg. Our short legs go up, our long legs are gonna come down. So I can poke this through the back so it sticks out front. Just like this. And then once I'm in the back, I want to make sure I know which one's going where. So I'll make it do the splits. Here's my short leg. There's my long leg. I don't really like that my long leg's coming over that line, so I'm actually going to bend my long leg. So that when I fold it, it doesn't sort of pop it up because the metal is coming off of the, metal, of the copper tape wire. Then you can just tape over this whole spot. You can tape all of that LED and both legs at the same time. Just press really, really good on there. Another trick is for pieces like this, if you're worried they're gonna break ever, just take a piece of copper tape around that corner and tape it on just like that. All right, so now I'm gonna do the same thing with my red. I'm gonna poke it through the back like that. I'm gonna check for my long leg and my short leg. My short leg is gonna go up. My long leg is gonna go down. And again, I'm gonna bend my long leg just like a staple almost so that it doesn't cross that dotted line. All right, and I will tape that one down as well. I'm gonna press really good. 
Frosting really helps you get good contact, which is really important. All right, now I'm going to put in my battery and I also want to tape a little bit right here for durability. So this tape for durability, you want to make sure you don't cover up this bottom line that's coming sort of right and left. You just want to right above it, right up to where that line is coming out through it. And this just helps because the card keeps swiping over this and it can break some of these wires if we're not careful. And that helps with that. And then with the battery, we wanna make sure that we don't tape over the top of the battery. We can tape sort of just along a edge of it, just like that, and we can just press it in and tape it down, just like that. And then we can fold this part up and over, just like this. And we can test it. I like to put my binder clip on before I start testing it to make sure I've got good contact on the battery. And then to test this, we just cross these two pieces, there's two little gray circles, with either a piece of copper tape upside down or a piece of foil. And this shows me that as I slide my card, I'll go from red to green at the end. So this is working, which is amazing. And I'm just going to tape this part down like here. Keep all those circuit parts on the inside so that they can't get jostled. Okay, that helps protect your paper circuit. That's what we always want to do. All right, and the last step is to make your card. So this part's gonna just kinda come up. And then to make our card, we're gonna cut out our card. And you can decorate your card, you can color your little Among Us character, you can name it. Georgia named hers Evie. She gave herself a passcode for when she gets to the keypad section of that task. And what is gonna make this work is to test it, we just went across these two pieces. Well, we're gonna do that, but we're gonna just color in here. It's gonna look like one of those fun smart chips that are on um, credit cards, we're just gonna cover this right here with copper tape and that will do the same thing as us just putting the copper tape upside down. So then I can fold this over and I get red. You do have to put your fingers sort of here because the pressure is what you need. You notice I need some pressure as I swipe and it swipes and then it turns green, it says it's red, turns green, which was a really fun project to add to your Among Us uh, paper circuit projects and some of the science that you can do with Among Us. Thank you guys so much for joining us with this project. I hope that you have a great time with it. Make sure to check us out on Facebook and Patreon and make sure that you support us and join us for all the other fun projects we'll be doing soon. All right, have a great day. Bye friends.